became not good enough that he gave us to his son. Yeah. That's exactly. Well, exactly. Like yes. Yes. Yeah. Now we're going to marry the son. Yeah. <laughs> and God said, I gave you a bill of written divorce. Mm -hmm. God said that in the, in the Bible. Yes. Yeah. God, the Father, mm -hmm. says this. But now we're marrying the son. Yes. So you, want, you want to know why? Because he gave him some flash too. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Yes. He gave him some flash too. And God yes. ain't have no flash. Yes. Right. So there he could have probably been yes. mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> you were right. Go on here. We'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by flash? Do flash. Oh, flesh. Uh, the word was made flesh. Ah, yeah, it does. So that means he's able to understand how we are, communicate. That's why he was tempted in all ways that we are. Watch this. So he know we're crazy. Yeah. yeah. I know that woman crazy. I got to keep going and get up. That's what Hosea was all about. That's a, yeah, the whole book. Yeah, yeah, the whole that. book of Hosea was about Hosea meaning representing Jesus. Yes. You with me? So and go where the process. Yes. Yeah. Sure. So we keep running away from what's good for us, and want people to use and abuse us. You with me? We keep looking for thugs. Yes. That's all for me. Yeah. We look for thugs. Yes. Roughnecks. Yes. Somebody that's gonna cuss and cool. Yes. Yes. Wow. So we talked about a marriage, and before I go on in communication, I now I want you to look at it. I don't want to say in the church because you're the church, but in the congregation. Mm -hmm. How can you help somebody when they don't communicate what's really wrong? You can't. You can't. That's right. How? How, okay, understand that you can come to church every time those doors are open mm -hmm. and still not be under the covering of this leadership. Mm -hmm. That's right. You want to know mm -hmm. why? Because in your heart, you're doing your own thing. Yeah. A body, there's no part of the body that goes and does its own thing. No. Right? Or it doesn't work. Unless it's just located. Unless it's, thank you, Debbie, which is out of order. Unless it's dislocated or out of order. That's actually the location of this church right now. Mm -hmm. It's dislocated. Because your communication, I, I, I will put it on you, our communication lacks. You're here, but you're somewhere else. You come here for a covering so that you can do your own thing. Not realizing mm. you're not covered anywhere. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, let me stop you for a moment. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm in total agreement with you. Okay, but I, I must protect the mm -hmm. congregation. Mm -hmm. The reason why I say I must protect the congregation is if Donna going through something, it ain't Debbie's business. No. Mm -hmm. gotcha. It's not Debbie's business, mm -hmm. but it's mine. Yes. Right. Why is, is my business? Yeah. Because I'm the head. Yes. And I could give her proper guidance yes. without yes. Debbie judging Donna. That's right. Okay. I get that. You, you with me? Yeah. Because watch this, watch this. If you if your toe is busted, mm -hmm. your hand, it don't tell your hand. It tells your head. That's right. You, 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 you got that? Yes. Right, it tells your head. And your head comes with a solution on how to make that better. Yes. You, you, you get it? And, and the head understands the maturity level of that individual he's dealing with. Yeah. Because that comes into play as well. Yeah. Because you can't handle every sin about the same as the other. That's right. So you have to have wisdom in yes. understanding the anointing of God and do it correctly. And see, what David just said was very powerful. See, because the way I handle Debbie and you is totally different. Yes. 
But watch this. If somebody sees the way I handle y'all different, watch this. They are jealous. But you two are not on the same level. Right. Mm -hmm. So I have to deal with you different. Yes, right. You, you with me? But someone below or, or that's a normal part or a, a hand, yes. two hands of the body, watch this. You don't deal with both hands the same. No, you don't. Because no. I can't write with my left hand. Right. But I can write with my right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So I treat them different. Yes. With my right hand, I'm crippled. Mm -hmm. If something wrong with it, you with me? Yes. Even though nothing wrong with my left, so I kind of guard my right one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and and leaders are are the elevated, the highest elevated one. He's able to see over a vast sort of right. things rather than just see a, a small portion. That's right. Yeah. So he can he can yeah. counsel knowing the situation throughout because maybe there's many things locked in that one individual That's right. in a wrong way or a right way. Yes. And he, he, he'll oversee it, whereas if, if just somebody sitting here with the minister, they wouldn't have the, the vision that he would have. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because of that. I understand. I, I need to point something out because I know some people are saying in their head, well, I talk to Jerry all the time. But do you, I'll, I'll, I see him, but do you communicate with him? Mm -hmm. Okay, because talking with him and communicating with him are two totally, totally different. different things. If you're communicating the same thing to him every time you talk to him, my toenails infected. The next day, my toenails infected. The next day, my toenails infected. That's not communication. That's not communication. We just told you. Because you're not listening mm -hmm. to what he told you. He said so good. He said, right, or he said, anoint yourself with oil. And he's not mm -hmm. listening at that point now. Mm -hmm. And now, that's right. yeah. no communication. Yeah. Right? Lily, before you forget. That's, okay. that's, something, <laughs> that's something I have a hard time mm -hmm. with. Because, well, the majority of my life has been up, up from, uh, we weren't allowed to express our ourselves, our feelings, or anything. I wasn't, uh, and uh, I really do have a hard time communicating. So and that's that's a big problem of mine. Can you stop before mom? Okay, you older than me. Yes, I Okay, am. and hold on, hold on. Let me. And I'll, I'll but you, my daughter. Right. All right. You with me? If I got a physical daughter, no matter what wrong with her. She's supposed to be able to come and talk to me. Yes. I mean, whatever wrong her. Baby, I had a dream last night and something really happened. My toes started moving. <laughs> you, you following me? Yeah. She should be able to come and tell me and that. And be comfortable. And be comfortable and know that I ain't for the judge her. Mm -hmm. Right. But that's yeah. not what, we, we wasn't taught that way. Yeah. Can, can I go further? We wasn't taught that way in the church, and some of you ain't taught that way in the home. That's right. That's right. That's so right. how how could you come to a person you didn't grow up with and be honest with? Yes. It's difficult. Yes. But watch this. Yes, yes. Ain't nobody stopping you but you. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. It said the old man is dead. Yes. For real? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Well, you're in your own way. What's that, Bernie? Get in your own way. Yes, you yeah. do. Yeah. Yes, right. you do. I think the same. You're your own worst enemy. You're your own worst enemy. But Lily, that totally leads us into the next part of this. And this is the part where I really need you to communicate with me. And here's the question I'm going to ask you: What is it that we find about communication that's so difficult and so hard? Let me give you. Let me give you a couple. While you think, okay? It's uncomfortable to talk about things mm -hmm. that really matter to us. Um, Hold on. People communicate differently. Mm -hmm. And it's hard sometimes to understand how somebody communicates when it's different than the way you communicate. 
Do you guys remember when Jerry first came? Mm -hmm. And he had all those like slang terms and he had a little bit of that accent. We were all like, what? what? Remember that, right? We had to get used to it. Every once in a while, I'll get a text from Courtney and it will be, and she'll forward me a text from Jerry. And I don't think that she'll write, translate, please. <laughs> because she doesn't know what he's asking. Yeah, yeah. You, I understand. Yes. I understand that. But and there's nothing wrong that. with either no. one of you. No. It's just you communicate different. Yeah. That's right. question because you got to understand. Yes. And so yeah. that's where we stop short a lot of times. We do, I, don't, I don't understand. Yeah. So, okay, I'm not going to say anything. We stop short. It's right. like pushing through and saying, translation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And so eventually we get used to it. Bertie? Um, I was going to say that um, I think sometimes the reason we have a hard time trying to other people because we don't have faith in them, that they're not going to blab or yeah. um, trust. 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 Yeah. A lack of trust. Yeah. Very good. But it can be a good reason, can it? Right. Yes. I can tell you, I have told, and I'm, I'm just going to use the men who sat over me as an example. There have been very personal things I have shared with Dave, and there have been very personal things I've shared with Jerry. And I never once worried about it, that on. somebody else was going to find out about it. Not one time. Yeah. I knew that what I said would stay right there. Yeah. That's where the position that we have to get to. And sometimes we lack trust because of, like Bernie said, past experience. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we lack trust because... Do you know sometimes we actually lack trust because of personality differences? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, she's she's or he's this and she's so he probably or she probably can't be trusted. Or can't understand, or can't understand what I have to say. Yeah. When the truth of the matter is you have no idea. That's right. Okay, the trust issues comes this way. And the people never looked at it this way. Because of past experience. Am I right? You just said that. Yeah. Because of past experience. You're in a new relationship now with Christ. Yes. Because of past experience, you put Christ on the same level with the devil. That's very true. You didn't trust him. Mm -hmm. And you don't trust Christ enough like you didn't trust the devil. Or you will tell the truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you never looked at it that way. Mm -hmm. Either you knew over here and you got rid of those non-trust issues. Because to be in God is called obedience. That's right. Obedience and trust is the same thing. Yes. And they work just like this. Yes, they do. You with me? They're a partnership. Yes. Yes. It's like marriage. Yes. <laughs> but on the other hand, there's a difference between trusting Christ and trusting another person. Even though you're new, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that somebody else can still be trusted. Okay, you're comparing two different things here. Right. He wasn't talking about that. He was talking right. about he was using the trust in Christ as an example oh, okay. of trust mm -hmm. and how we mistrust. And you were going back to a person. Right. No, okay, so since no. he brought up the person, let's <laughs> deal with the person. Okay. You can't trust Christ unless you trust the person Christ put in your life. <laughs> if they didn't trust Moses, which they didn't, so they ain't going in the land. Yeah. Yeah. And then God wasn't talking to them. God was talking to Moses and giving Moses directions for them. But they ain't trust the God in Moses. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But you're still talking about the leadership. Oh, you talking about someone else? Yeah. No, I'm talking about the leadership. Okay. That's why I say don't tell everybody your business. Right. Right. Because, because everybody can't handle right. your business. Right. They'll right. condemn yes. you. Yes. But right. if you yes. are stuck in need help, you need to tell me the truth. Yes. And can I go further? I'm sorry. That's okay. But can I go further? Even though I already know what's going on. Yes. And he's just waiting. Honestly, yeah. waiting for you to say, open up. tell me so I yeah. can help. 
Yeah. And that's what we're talking about here is not communication among saints. Mm -hmm. It's communication between saints mm -hmm. and leaders. Yeah. Okay. Because for, and I'm, this is an example, okay, because we, Debbie would not do this, okay? Mm -hmm. She would not. <laughs> there are things that she hasn't been equipped to deal with yet. Mm -hmm. And so if you share something with her, she doesn't know which way to go with it. And you'll cause you harm to her. Yes. It could be a stumbling block right. to her. But when you take it to a leader, a leader is equipped yes. to deal with your mess. Been there, right? done that. And, and right. did it ten times better mm -hmm. than they ever could. I think often the problem is too, when I see in young marriages especially, that you'll have one committed and the other one says they're committed, but as soon as the first problem shows up that's really a hard hitter, one runs. Exit stage. And then, and then, you know, some people think that the first time they get problems or situation, Christ is going to run from them. Yes. And, you know, there ought not to be a deal breaker ever in those types of yes. relationships. Yes. You know, if you got two people that are willing to find that place to communicate it, like you said, mm -hmm. and deal with it, you'll persevere and, and be much stronger. Mm -hmm. But if you got one that ain't going to work, whether it's the same or this one ain't going to. You know, that's just too heavy for me. I'm just going to leave. And that attitude's already taking me off the door. You know, and, and the other thing I wanted to bring up too, it goes along with what you, you said, what we've been saying is a lot of times a leader is waiting for you to open up to them mm -hmm. because they have something else to show you. Mm -hmm. A piece that you can't see for yourself, right? But something that they want to reveal in you that's causing. A lot of problems. It's, there has to be more than a fascination or a lust to keep any relation going. Yes. It has to be a love factor. It oh, yes. going to grow even Definitely. if your relationship with Christ yes. and the body of Christ. Yes. Can I go yes. further? Yes. Can I go? Let, let me go further. And I keep telling, and I've said this before, and it's not magnifying leaders. I'm strictly staying Bible. You with me? Everything you're asking God for, it's in your leader. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's right in your leader. Yeah. All your stuff you need, mm -hmm. I got it right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She got it right there. Mm -hmm. It's in your leaders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything. Can I go further? Children of Israel needed bread. <laughs> Who bought it? Moses. That's right. They needed to get across the Red Sea. Who did it? Moses. That's right. They needed the uh, Jordan open. Who did it? Joshua. Mm -hmm. They needed some flesh meat. Who did it? Moses. They needed gold to get out of uh, <laughs> Egypt. The instructions came through Moses. Right. Yeah. You hear me? Right. Everything you need, your leader has it in his yes. matrix. Yes, yes. And there are a lot of times when a good leader, a true leader, when you come to them with a problem and, and they think that another leader is more equipped, to handle your business, oh, they're going to say, right. "Go to." There's a ton of times I say, "You need to go to Jerry." Mm -hmm. Courtney will bring something to me, and I'll say, "You need to tell Jerry." Mm -hmm. Not because I can't help her, mm -hmm. but because he has the fix mm -hmm. or the medicine mm -hmm. that right. she needs, right. and it can't come from me. Debbie, you know when we were talking about the trust issue, mm -hmm. this is important because. Fear will keep you locked in yes. to your mess because you're afraid that someone's going to go spread it. We're talking about leaders because you're, you're afraid of everybody at that yes. point. Yes. You have to become vulnerable again. Yes, you do. Yes, you you do. have to let those things go and become vulnerable again. Now, I can say that to y'all because I had to do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, you know what? I was hurt by a past leader, so I don't trust yep. leaders. Mm -hmm. That's about the dumbest thing I have had heard. Am I right? You've been heard by a man or a woman before, and you got another one. Yeah. Go to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> you wore a raggedy dress, <laughs> and that's all. And you went and got another. Back to Walmart again. Yeah. But Debbie brings up Walmart. Debbie brings up a good point, and it's this: mm -hmm. you have to make yourself vulnerable, vulnerable yeah. again. Mm -hmm. But along with that. It's being okay knowing and not fearing that the person that you're sharing with is going to see you different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because when we started, I said, the love for a person can't change no matter what you 
tell them. Right. And in our in our weakness, we worry. Well, if I tell them this, then they're going to think. What are they going to think of me? What are they going to? You know what? It's all these things. Mm -hmm. And what we have to do is come with the confidence that they're going to have the love of Christ. They're not going to see us any different. Donna and I communicate real well. She holds nothing back. And when she's mad, she holds nothing back. Sometimes I'm like, what did you say? Not because I'm offended, but because I'm like, Donna just said this? I didn't know that was in her. Right? Because, but Donna is very real with me. Mm -hmm. There's no mixing of words. There's no well. There's no, and guess what else she does? Bam, she hits me with it. There's no tiptoeing into it. There's no, what'd you do today? What? She just lays it out there. And I can say to her, and she can say, I don't like what you're saying. But she still takes it. Right. right. We communicate well. Yeah. Or did you have something to say? No. So what are some other reasons you, for the lack of communication? Did anybody have any? Birdie? Not knowing how to communicate the right way. So, um, frustrated with that, you know what I mean? Okay. Maybe it's that you don't know how. Right. So, let me ask you what is so difficult about saying what's it on your mind? Because they have the religious mentality. When they come to you and they want to tell you their problems, they go into, you know, uh, I know that God really changes us and he'll bring us through and God will really, and then the heavens are open up and the Holy Ghost will sat down on me and set me free, but, uh, but, in the meantime, but, 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 yeah, but, but. Ain't nobody, I didn't need to know all of that. You with me? So what they do is they dress it up first. Yes. yes. They try to make you think that they still holy and all that, and my thought of you never changed. Mm -hmm. I know, I just lied. My thought did change when you started all that. I said, look at this craziness. <laughs> Every once in a while, because um, I'm, I'm pretty lay it out there with Jared. You're not usually confused after you talk to me, are you? No. He knows exactly what I mean, right? Yeah. And every once in a while, he'll send me, you know what an emoji is? <laughs> <laughs> Smiley faces on Facebook. Yeah. And every once in a while, he'll send me one with big eyes. It's like the shock look. And I always said back, like I just shocked you with what I said. Because I know I didn't yeah. shock him. Nothing I say can shock him. It would mm -hmm. actually shock him if I didn't mm -hmm. speak the way that I speak to him. Then I'll feel deceived. Yeah, but you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'll feel deceived. Mm -hmm. Donna? Just another reason why people may not communicate is habit. Habit, yeah. You're used to holding things to yourself. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yep. Yeah. Part of ministry yeah. is vulnerability. Yes. Oh, yeah. Being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Ministry is not just quoting scriptures to people. No. Ministry is showing people that yeah. you've been there and how you got out. Mm -hmm. That's right. Jesus was made vulnerable. Yes. And if he was made vulnerable, mm -hmm. you can be sure that your leader best be making mm -hmm. himself vulnerable, vulnerable. Yeah. Right. yeah right so let me give you another form of communication that we often overlook because we talk about it in language speech right mm -hmm. what about body language oh, yes. does anybody want some hugs yeah. Oh, good, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> i need i need a model oh, okay <laughs> Oh, she needs a model. I need a model. I heard that. Thank you. Okay, so let me just give you some, some, these are the, these are, the, this is the body language, okay? Now, a hug is a form of intimacy, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lily and I are about to be intimate, mm -hmm. okay? But by hugging her, you can actually tell what I really think about her, okay? So this first hug is called the Christian side hug. Okay, this is it. Sorry. This is called the Christian side. I'll do the work. You just stand. Right. I'll do the work. Yes, this, is the this is the Christian side. This is the Christian side hug. Okay. Oh, that's when God. I'll touch you with your shoulder, but let's not contaminate on. our body parts on each other. Okay. You're right. 
But a Christian side hook shows you that you're insecure with yourself. Okay? This is the second form of a hug. This is, I kind of love you while we're here at church. Ready? Let's <laughs> make sure there's six inches between us. Okay? Body language. You've all seen those hugs. Yeah. Right? Okay? I love you while we're here, but don't get your smell on my clothes because I'm going other places afterwards. Okay? Oh, my word. Then you have the I love you like a brother. Okay? And that is the full embrace oh, wow. and the back backpack. Okay? There's always a backpack. And that's like... Good boy. Good boy. Right? Good girl. Sit, sit, sit. But, okay. You want this one? But that, yes, but that's the first step in the yes. right direction to a house. Yes. yes. Okay? Right. Because yes. now I'm willing to embrace her, get her filth on me. Right? Okay? And then there's, <laughs> then there's the full, I love you no matter what. Okay? And it's the full, you just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Oh. Yeah. That's a Debbie hug. That's a Debbie That's hug. A Debbie That's hug. a full embrace. That is a body language that says, I really love you. Mm -hmm. Right? It says I love you a lot better than this. Just touch my shoulder. Oh, dear. Because I can brush it off after. Right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lily. You're welcome. Our body language <laughs> says so much about how we feel about other yeah. people. Mm -hmm. In a congregation. In a marriage. It all speaks. It doesn't just have to come out of mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember when Debbie first joined us? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Oh, and so she, crazy Sean, I was like, <laughs> she went her, her away. And she had to hug you, right? Yes. And it was like, why is she squeezing so tight? <laughs> we're not supposed to hug like this, right? <laughs> and so we were all like the boards. Thanks for the hug, Dad. Yeah, trees. Yeah, <laughs> trees. Thanks for the hug. Because we didn't know. I was good with that. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the handshake. <laughs> There's a lot of love in there. I'm oh, good. I'm moving on. <laughs> you forgot the other one. The one where the, the girl comes up, you get the hand, you get the hug, and then she just wants to let you know that she's on, she's there if you want to. Oh, come here, Willie. Oh. There is that one too because I've seen I can that do that. Well. Okay, I, because I know some of you are like, what? So I got this one down too. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do so you don't go with the shot. You want to do what? <laughs> Come here. Oh, okay. 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 Now this is this is for your viewing pleasure only, okay? So that you understand. This right. is what David's talking about: man and a woman, okay? You hug, okay? Oh, thank you for being such a good pastor. And when you leave the embrace, your hand drops right over their butt. That's exactly just so that you know. Seriously? I'm seriously. Oh, okay. The I'm other part, part okay? <laughs> now the other part that I can show you won't work because Lily and I are both women. Yeah, yeah. The slide. But it's called oh. the chest press. The oh. Okay? Oh. So the women <laughs> press their chest into their leader just to say, hey, I'm around if you're interested. Hello. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me say something about the chest press. I draw my, I draw my <laughs> chest like this. All right. I understand what you mean with the chest press, but uh, you can't really go with that. Mm -hmm. The reason why, because all y'all got princesses. There's a difference. Uh, no, ho no, hold on, hold on. If, no, hold on. If I hug any of you, 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 you yeah, yeah. No, you miss it. You miss it. Your breasts gonna be on me. Yes. Unless you move them on and put them on your back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that be quite the trick. Am I making sense? Yes, yes. So if I hold somebody and trying to say I really love you, my mind is not your breasts on me. No. Right. No, it's That's true. right. We know right. that. Right. You, you, you with me? Mm -hmm. But. No, I said that because uh, by you saying that, people are going to go back to the side Christian side. <laughs> but you also know 
mm -hmm. the person that's giving you the hug, the woman mm -hmm. that's giving you the hug, mm -hmm. where their mind is. Yeah. So you can be totally innocent in saying I love you, but you know if that person has something different. Well, in, in the church, uh, I've noticed this for years. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen that way. You hear me? In the world. Ladies put their breasts on you to get your attention. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the church, they sit, they sit in the front row and open up. Fatal attraction? No. You know what I mean? Yeah. I said open up. Open up. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wasn't that the movie Fatal Attraction? Yeah. yeah. That's how they do it in church. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it too many times. Mm -hmm. And we have, leaders have had meetings on that too. Yeah. So that's popular in the church there. Yes. Yes. Let me just wrap this up for you. It does not matter what covenant, what partnership, what relationship you're in. Communication is the key mm -hmm. to success. Mm -hmm. And miscommunication is the key mm -hmm. to what, Tammy? To it's the start of dislocation, which ends in divorce, divorce, division, divorce. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to communicate with your partner because your understand that your leader is your, your partner. partner. If you come home every day from work and stay in the room, you're already divorced. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. And I said that to say this. If you are part of Grace Message Church, and you don't show up, you already started your divorce. Because a dislocation has started. Yes. You're al there's already something that's out of order. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It always starts there. Because the church always be singing that famous song. Baby, come back. <laughs> yes. You can blame it all on oh, me. me. Yes. That is so true, though. Mm -hmm. Hundred percent right. Yes. Any questions or comments? This was good. Very good. Yeah, very good. Sir. I, I, very good. I real. I need you all to pray for me because I pray earnestly. And what I mean is, when I say earnestly, I mean with a sincere, mm -hmm. a sincerity. That I never ever speak more up here than what I hear from him. Mm -hmm. Regardless, I don't care if I'm up here for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. If I don't hear anything else, I pray that I always know to stop. And I need you all to continue to pray with me for that also. Mm -hmm. Jared?